Can you imagine? It's been nearly five decades since we last landed on the moon. What's even more astonishing is that the technology we used back then is less advanced than what we find in today's smartwatches. It's this fact that leads some to even believe that we never landed on the moon, saying it's all an elaborate hoax. But those assertions couldn't be further from the truth. Dig a little deeper, and you'll find that the space race of the 1960s was not purely about exploration or discovery. It was more about pride, legacy, and geopolitics. At its heart was the Cold War, a rivalry not of bullets and battlegrounds, but of ideologies and international prestige. As the U.S. and the Soviet Union locked horns, space became their arena. Competition, as they say, brings out the best in us. And in this high-stakes contest, it brought about feats of technology and human endeavor that seemed almost miraculous. However, post the era of the moon landings, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the eventual thawing of the Cold War, space exploration took somewhat of a back seat. The rapid pace of lunar missions slowed to a trickle, and the fervor of the space race cooled. Musk once likened our relationship with past space achievements to the Egyptians' relationship with pyramids. The ancients constructed these monumental structures with seeming ease, yet today, the methods of their construction remain enigmatic. Similarly, while we once sent astronauts to the moon using the limited technology of the time, the specifics of how we accomplished such a feat have become hazier as the years go by. If this stagnation continued for a century or more, we might find ourselves looking at our rockets and shuttles the way we marvel at ancient wonders, with a disbelief. But fortunately, the past few years have witnessed a resurgence in the spirit of the space race. A new era of space exploration is upon us. Leading this charge is none other than SpaceX. SpaceX, with its audacious goals and groundbreaking innovations, has rekindled a hope for lunar exploration. Its HLS Starship stands as a testament to this renewed vigor. Under NASA's Artemis program, this spacecraft is set to reignite our lost dreams and aspirations by carrying astronauts to the moon once again. However, this hope is now facing challenges. NASA is thinking about stepping back from this project due to several issues. The Artemis program is seen as the next big step after the famous Apollo moon missions, and there's a lot of excitement around it. Artemis 1 was scheduled to fly around the moon in 2022 without any astronauts, but it faced delays and hasn't flown yet. Artemis 2, set for November 2024, is planning to take astronauts around the moon. What's really thrilling is Artemis 3, aimed for December 2025. This mission plans to land astronauts on the moon's South Pole, marking the first human lunar landing in over 50 years. SpaceX is helping with these efforts. They have a contract worth $2.89 billion to use their Starship spacecraft for landing people on the moon by late 2025. Plus, there's another project for Artemis IV in 2028 that's valued at $1.15 billion. However, recently James Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, shared some concerns about the upcoming Artemis III moon mission. He hinted that due to potential setbacks, the mission's objectives might undergo some adjustments. Initially, the plan was to deploy SpaceX's Starship on an uncrewed mission to the moon. This would involve sending Starship up to space a few times to fill up on fuel before the actual mission with astronauts. However, SpaceX has faced some bumps along the way. Specifically, on April 20th of this year, a noteworthy incident occurred during their test flights. While the Starship managed a successful takeoff, complications arose a mere four minutes post-launch. A malfunction in the separation mechanism prompted an immediate decision to enact a controlled detonation, preventing further risks. What's important is that SpaceX is known for quickly learning from these issues, fixing them, and then trying again. This became clear following their the 20th of April incident. After encountering snags in their orbital launch, they wasted no time in refining their approach. They upgraded their launch platform and made necessary changes to the rocket to ensure past mistakes are rectified. Additionally, they've refined crucial parts of the ship to optimize performance. Their active testing of Booster 9 and Ship 25 showcases their determination to perfect the technology and mission readiness. While SpaceX works tirelessly to win NASA's confidence, they're also aware of the broader context. The current space race isn't confined to the U.S. Other nations, particularly China, have their eyes set on the moon. 
China's aspirations to land astronauts there by 2030 means they're closely watching developments in the U.S. NASA's chief, Bill Nelson, highlighted the urgency of keeping pace, noting the strategic importance of lunar resources such as water ice and the broader implications of China's goals in space. Beyond the technical realm, SpaceX's journey is also about building relationships. Their decision to invite NASA to see their progress firsthand reflects this. A recent tour enabled NASA experts to delve deep into the complexities of the cryogenic propellant transfer mission. While James Free from NASA recognized the value of the insights gained during the tour, calling them tremendous, it's clear that NASA is awaiting more solid signs of readiness and assurance from SpaceX. This is understandable given that space exploration is not all about making new discoveries, but also making sure everything is safe. The rocket for Artemis II, called the SLS, has had some problems too. There's an issue with the tubes, called downcomers, that carry oxygen to the engines. Also, the Orion capsule, which is meant to protect astronauts when they return to Earth, had a part of its heat shield break off during a test. Another big challenge is money. Delays can make things more expensive, and NASA has to be careful with its budget. They have to find a balance between safety and staying within their spending limits. For SpaceX, they have a double challenge. They need to make sure their technology works perfectly. At the same time, they have to coordinate with NASA's plans and schedules. This means they need to work closely with NASA and make sure everyone agrees on the plans. While SpaceX is known for quickly learning and improving, they have to ensure they're on the same page with NASA, especially for such an important project. People all over the world who are interested in space are watching how Artemis and SpaceX's Starship are doing. This isn't just about going to the moon. It's also about preparing for even bigger adventures, like going to Mars in the future. Getting back to the moon and doing well there will be a big step in getting ready for these bigger space missions. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more similar content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.